Tinubu from Rugby Joshua State. And you have most of all these people talking, and they are not even indigenous of Lagos. This particular aspirant, as you all know, you can go and check it, the records are there. This is somebody that has been arrested for spending fake American dollars in the nightclub in America. I don't think I have done enough justice to this explanation. To the point where people will understand how powerful MC Lomo is. Well, maybe making a 36 minutes video or 46 minutes video will make me to explain more better. This is MC Lomo. MC Lomo. MC Lomo. This guy right here, they call him Coco Zara. He is MC Lomo right hand man. Or you can call him second in command. Just so you know, so just so you have an idea or a clear idea how powerful this guy is. Look at this video. These people, right? These are people from all walks of life. Among them are some Nigeria celeb hanging around MC Lomo on this video. You can see how they all stood up to work on him and how they keep buying down to greet him, even people that are older than MC Olomo himself. And it's not just the king of area boys in Lagos, especially Ushudi. He is also the NTR boss. His relationship with Tinubu makes him more powerful. Though MC Olomo didn't go to school, no formal education, he ruled over educated ones. This is part of numerous reasons why some people want to vote out the ruling party, APC. Just to put things into perspective, NC Oluomo could slap the chairman of local government area in Lagos and nothing will happen. That is the man you're dealing with. And by the way, it's just a figurative thing. I have never heard him slap anyone, just saying. They claim that APC government financed story by encouraging and enriching someone like MC Oluomo. Please guys, come on. Please subscribe to my channel, like my page, please share me out. God bless you as you do so. I'm going to ask this question again. I know this is like the opt-in time. Who owns Lagos? Popular Fuji musician Sule Aluwo Malaki. In his recent song, he saw it on social media that Benin is from a do state are trying to claim Lagos. Yoruba should make sure that they vote Samolu. And he said that they should know that they are not doing it for Samolu, but for millions of Yorubas because they are trying to hijack the Yorubas land. We don't even know what to do with all this tribe our wahala. Ah, it is well of my people. People have argued that the APC are trying to make this a tribal war to make some people to vote for Sam Olu. Lagos is playing with a very dangerous tone with ethnic baiting. Um, the candidate of the Labour Party is half Igbo, and he's married to an Igbo lady. And we've turned this whole narrative around Lagos being hostile to Igbos, Igbos not welcome, and his heritage now being a subject of conversation. Might I remind members of the APC that Mr. Bola Tinumbu is married to a Shekiri lady, and his, his son, Sheyi, is married to a Lebanese lady. And so if we want to talk about who people are married to as it, the legitimacy to be Lagosians, it's a challenge. Mr. Tinubu himself is not from Lagos, and so and neither is the current governor. Mm. And, I, and I'm saying this particularly because if we're not careful, we're all in this Lagos together. And if we're not careful how we frame these conversations, it will affect all of us on election day. Sorry. And I might also add, for APC that wants to make Igbos their challenge, let's not forget some of the things that have happened under this administration that are part of what people are reacting to. We've had NSAS, we've had forced evictions, we've had impounded cars that were auctioned off. So there are enough grounds, reasons for people to be upset. But I raise that because we need to be mindful. And again, Someone sent this video to me of Oba of Lagos talking about how Lagos was formed. Let's watch this segment, guys. 
listen carefully. So tell us about the relationship between the Bini and, and the, the co people. Yes. Uh, the first Baba of Lagos is a male descendant of Baba of Bini and very close person to him. He sends him on a mission here, and that's why we have a song. That's any and insulation of any other. That song is always there. And anybody wants to be a chief or anything, or oh, at that end, oh, when we finish the ceremony, we do like this. That thing we are doing, they are saluting the Oba of Bene. That, that, that does not mean that uh, uh, Bene are the owners of Lagos. But we are part and parcel of in the past, not the present. And the late Oba of Bene of the blessed memory, very, very nice. The Baba took me as his son. And by the grace of God, you want to be now. He knows very well because the Baba tells him every time, hold tight to Oba of Lagos. And we are very, very close. The governorship election is fast approaching, a few days from now. Let me put it that way. JROV, that is Gbadibo, has said during one of his interviews that he is more Lagosian than Tinubu and Samolo. But the boy was asked, look what is going on. They keep hearing this news of you not being a Lagosian or not being a typical Yoruba boy. And this is Badibo, this is what Badibo got to say in interview with God Mind. So guys, listen to it. My name is Badibo Rosvival. I'm a governorship candidate for the Labour Party for Lagos State. It just shows a lot of desperation by the ruling party. You have people from Ijebu, who is the current governor. You have Sinobu from Iraq with Joshua State, and you have most of all these people talking, and they are not even indigenous of Lagos. My pedigree goes back over 200 plus years. It's not with, it's without controversy. I can bring receipts for four generations. So it's, it's, it's just, it's petty. It's petty. Wait, wait, guys. He said something else in the video that must have triggered Tinubu teams. It's better. They don't, it's better. They don't have anything to bring out to me. They are not bringing out, uh, I'm a former drug lord or I'm a drug addict or I have mental health problems. Say I've shown jives at three of them. A few days later, this was seen on social media. They said body ball was high. Yeah. Really? This one wants to run for legal state? This nigga is high as fuck. It's high. On national TV, chewing gum. I would do a bunch of roll. This is a junkie now. Now, the Labour Party seems to be biting back, fighting back, as a video of former governor of Lagos State, Ambodi, shows up on social media, where he was here talking about the alleged horrible past of current government of Lagos State, Samuelu. So let's watch the video. Is to continue to do that in the next four years. This particular aspirant, as you all know, you can go and check it. The records are there. This is somebody that has been arrested for for for, for spending fake American dollars in a nightclub in America, and he's been detained for months. And he's, he knows that he has won mug shots for for months before before this whole thing was 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 quenched. He is also known. That he doesn't have the competence to do what he is, is being propelled to do. The records are there in Bagara General Hospital. This is somebody that, uh, that has gone for rehabilitation before. We don't want to go too far. Guys, wait to hear this. Next one PDP shifting body judge made a shocking revelation at the press conference in Lagos recently. He alleged that they had plans by some people to assassinate the legal state gubernatorial of the Labour Party Gbadi Boroughs ahead of Saturday March 11th election. Now guys, we know Body Judge is a loggerhead with the APC. It could be another tragedies to fight them. You know Body Judge is not a saint himself. Guys, the pressure is getting high. Like I said in my previous video, the former governor is shaking. 
running so many hard at the same time on social media. I even heard that Lagos State has paid 1.2 billion naira pension rights to 533 retirees. So guys, let's listen to this video. It's presented bond certificates by setting out 1.2 billion naira. This move is to ensure that about 534 retirees who served under Lagos State Government are paid their gratuity as it went due. There is more in this report. In this auditorium are retirees who have served the Lagos State Government for 35 years, giving their all to the Southwestern State and the Civil Service Commission. The retirees who are elated came from every part of the state to get their bonds. I also saw in the news that Lagos government begins release of impounded vehicles to owners for free of charge, guys. They even send celebrities like Nice to go out, knock on people's door and beg them or ask them to vote for some Ulu guys. Let's watch. Let's talk about Peter B and the court case. Yes, his lawyer gave us updates recently about the whole thing. Let's watch the video. We are opposing um, the order from the violent the order rather. Well, we, well, there are two applications of interest. The one is the application brought by INEC to vary the order, according to them, that um, the order which enabled us to scan the ballot papers will expose the uh, identity of our voters and persons they voted for. But we're saying that that is not uh, the object, objective of the applicants, that all we needed to do was to verify that they were actually thumb impressions. And um, things like that have no in interest whatsoever. In I mean, how can you even begin to search that among the millions of people that voted? In? So it's really uh, pedestrian as far as we are concerned and diversionary. Peter Obi is really pushing, letting the world know that we actually won this presidential election and it was rigged. Even some people believe that it was. Uh, the election is free, is one of the freest elections I've ever witnessed. Because um, Tinubu losing Lagos, ah, no, no, no. It's very, the election was very free. So there shouldn't be any um, issue. I, I, I think um, Tino, um, Atiku and Obi, they should congratulate um, Tinubu because the election was free. There was no rigging at all. So there shouldn't be any, any um, fight. But the election was free and fair. Ma, Bola Ahmed Tinubu least shocking prize. This is also surprising. I appoint 12 senior advocates to defend his mandate. Now, why this has become a big issue on social media, there's also the issue of integrity. If Peter Obi will truly make a good president, if given the chance, the fact that he has mingled with people like Atuku and the rest, now there is some allegation out there about the Labour Party. Just like the video showing some Labour Party member complaining about how their leader cite four monuments for them. So watch the video. He's reading. Uh, Madam, please, what's your name? My name is Mary Anira Yunana. I am seeing a lot of crowd at the DG campaign office for Peter Obi and Dakum from Plateau State. 
What is really happening here? What is really happening is that the person in charge of the support group's money has refused to release it to the support group to mobilize people. And as we are talking today, today is Thursday. Tomorrow our principal is supposed to be in town and there's no money to mobilize anybody. So I don't know. And so far in Plateau State, the support groups have been the one that have elevated the Labour Party name. So I don't know why they are taking support yes. group for granted and they have turned them to trash and beggars in yes. front of Labour Party's yes. office. We have leaders in Plateau State. That's just the plain truth. Because all of them are corrupt and all they do is they collect the money they give for us simply because for the love we have for Obi, people are now misusing it and taking us for granted. They will give money and then the same people will pocket it in their money and expect us to do it out of our own money, which we have been doing for long. For this time around, we said no. They will release it whether they like it or not. If they don't, we will yes. not mobilize people to that stadium. Guys, we know this is politics and opposition parties are capable of anything, guys. They said politics is like us and only the smart ones win. I, saw, I stumbled at this comment in Tunu posted yesterday from previous video. He said, bro, what I know is that these politicians are all the same basically. They are not worth fighting or creating enemies over. You will see them attend each other parties and break bread together. They will always award each other contract. Please don't spread it just to promote your favorite candidate. Politics is just a game among these politicians. My learned brothers and sisters, let just vote and not fight. Whoever wins, wins. So my people, that's, this is where we'll end our updates. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, as I said, share me out, subscribe to my channel, and please always follow me.